everyone. Today we are going to learn how to create a login screen in Visual Studio Blend. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, let's create a new project and select a WPF app.net framework project. Let's rename this project. Select the desired location and then click on OK. So now that our window is loaded, let's OK. So let's resize the window by going to the properties panel and changing the width and height property. Let's change the width to 300 and uh, height to 500. Okay, I think that will do. Now let's get rid of the borders. So for that, select the window, go to the properties panel and go to the window style property and change it to none. And also change the resize mode to no resize. And uh, look for window startup location and uh, change it to center screen. Okay, now let's build application and check how it looks. Okay, there you go. Okay, so let's stop debugging and uh, let's add some UI elements. So go to the assets link and look for the image control. Select the image control and drag it all along the window. Now that the image control is set, let's add an image by going to the properties panel and changing the source. Okay, there you go. Now, now that the image is set, let's add a sign in button. So for that, you need a rectangle tool, place it on the center uh, of the window and uh, hold the shift key and the alt key and drag. If you don't want the square square uh, box, just let go of the shift key. See. So now, once you have the desired size, leave the keys. So let me zoom in for better visibility. Okay, there you go. Now, uh, click on those handles and try rounding off the corners. So just like this. Now, I would say I need a little thinner rectangle. Yeah, so that will do. So now resize the rectangle and place it in the desired position. Once you're done with this, change the color. I would go with uh, So and I'll go and get rid of this uh, borders. So just go to the properties panel and select the stroke and click on the no brush option. So that's how it's done. So now that we have our uh, 
button let's add some buttony feel to it so i would say click on the fill and then uh, add some gradients and change the blacks to a little lighter pink or a darker pink maybe yeah and Now let's add some text on the rectangle. So select, select, take, uh, select the text block and once again select the center and click on the Alt key and drag. Okay, now enter the text you want to display. Please uh, let's uh, resize the text and uh, change the properties. Change the foreground to say white and uh, change the font uh, height to say 16 or maybe 14. Um, just to highlight this uh, rectangle, let's add one more rectangle below that. And, uh, as you can see, it copies the old properties that I had done. So not an issue. Let's fix this and change the gradient to white white I would say let's just reverse this and send it to back Or you can do, you can even arrange it here by pushing this rectangle or dragging this below the other rectangle. Okay, so there you go. Now let's add some animations. So what we will do is on click of the sign in button, we will expand the sign in button to fill the whole window. So let's achieve this first. So for that, we'll have to add a storyboard. Okay. And let's uh, rename the storyboard to expand. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Now you can see that the storyboard is recording and it will record the actions that are performed. Okay. So now what do we, what we want is when do we want this action to be performed? So by default, the trigger will be on window load. So we don't want it on window load. So we have to delete this. Okay, so click on the delete trigger and then click on the add event trigger and select the options like when you want to uh, perform the animation. So we want it on 
click of this rectangle so before that let's first add a keyframe okay and we want it when the rectangle is clicked and uh, on the button mouse button event so mouse left button down is raised so let's just add it okay so this is done and what should happen when you click so that we will decide now so we, we need to expand this rectangle to fill the whole screen so, so on the zeroth keyframe our rectangle is in this condition or uh, this state so when we reach the first keyframe we'll add another keyframe here and then we will change the size of the rectangle to gradually fill the screen so what we will do is we'll just drag in sorry we'll just undo the rounded corners and then start dragging okay. done so let's just check this animation first so we'll stop the recording and just click on this play button so now the problem is the sign in button retains so we just need to hide it so to hide this uh, sign in text just click on the text block and add one more keyframe okay and set the visibility of the text block to set the visibility to hidden so let's the uh, let's run this application and see how it performs okay it works as desired but we are not able to see the sign in text okay i get it i think uh, yeah, since we have uh, stopped the recording, it is not working. Let's uh, start recording again. So the visibility is on. And when it reaches here, we'll add one more. Keyframe and then make the visibility hidden okay so let's run this see that's how it works so you, you can even uh, change the visibility here immediately just after the zeroth keyframe so you can add one more keyframe here while it is expanding or let's do one thing just click on the zeroth keyframe and uh, select the text block and make it hidden here so now what will happen is let's stop this animation and see so you have the sign in uh, text and when you click on the rectangle you don't have it okay um, let's reduce the timeline and uh, add one more keyframe 
frame here or you can just drag this keyframe to this position so there you go and then let's run again okay as you can see it works perfectly well so let's stop this and do a minor adjustments so let's add some more animations and uh, some more controls now So this is how it looks. Okay, let's just remove this. So now, as you can see, everything is visible from the start. So what we should do is the content that we have added uh, that is supposed to go on the next screen should be made false in the zeroth keyframe. So let's select the zeroth keyframe. The image should be. So let's turn on the storyboard again now that is recording let's make these items with uh, items visibility to hidden i've done it and uh, now now let's start recording and add keyframes for each controls okay so let's add a keyframe here, add a keyframe here, add a keyframe here. Yeah, yeah. And, and when it reaches this pink screen, let's add keyframes. Now you cannot see all those uh, controls before. So now once you click on the sign in button, there you go. Hope you like this video. Please leave your valuable comments, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.